So what I'm going to show you here is a quick example of how computer vision can be used to quantify the motion of an object or a series of objects. On the screen is the first frame of a short video of someone walking. In the next few minutes we'll use computer vision to track the three light blue post-its on the leg, draw line segments connecting the centroids of the post-its, calculate the angle between those line segments, and plot a graph of the angle over time. So our first step is going to be to convert the image from an RGB or red, green, blue color space to a LAB or a lab color space. Uh, we do this because the lab color space is a little bit more representative of human vision, which in certain circumstances can make things a little easier to track. So now that we've converted the image to a lab color space, the next thing we want to do is to extract the channel, either L, A, or B, that has the highest contrast between the post-its and the rest of the image. In this case, what you see on your screen is the A channel. So this is the channel that we'll be using in subsequent steps to isolate the post-its. So because the A channel is representing the post-its as a much darker value than the rest of the image, we can apply a threshold below which everything becomes white and above which everything becomes black. The result is what you see on your screen where we have the three isolated zones uh, that represent each of the post-its. Now that we have a binary image with three distinct zones, we can run an algorithm called Good Features to Track that identifies features that are likely to be persistent from frame to frame. On your screen, you can see these features marked by white dots overlaid on top of the original image. What we're going to do in the next step is use these points to calculate the centroid of each of the post-its. The centroids of the post-its are located using a technique called clustering, which essentially takes all of the good features to track from the previous step and determines which of them belong to which cluster. It then averages the coordinates to determine a center. These centers are what we are going to use to build the line segments that define the angle we will be tracking. So at this point, all the hard work has been done. All that's left is to draw a pair of lines connecting the three centroids. Uh, to measure the angle between those lines and to plot that angle over the course of the video. So if we just let that play out, it looks something like this. And that's it. So in summary, just using a camera, some pretty straightforward software, and some things like post-its that you have lying around the office, you can really quickly capture data from systems that would otherwise be pretty difficult to characterize.